Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. All right, so back to our regular scheduled programming. Uh, this is a collective message. Uh, my last video was a health video talking about my experience with EOE, esophageal dilation, um, gut issues, all those things, skin problems. Uh, I talk about my healing process. If you deal with any of those issues or anyone that you know deals with those issues, I highly suggest you go check out that video. It's highly informative. Okay, so now to our uh, channeled messages. So I was channeling Mr. Sandman. Um, so these are all from my bike ride tonight. That's when I channel the most is when I'm riding my bike. So I literally will be like cycling 30 to 50 miles and I will literally stop and do like a voice recording on my phone so that I remember all these things. But Mr. Sandman was coming through and it's Mr. Sandman bring me a dream. Um, so basically she's asking for a guy. She's asking for a man. Now it's funny because then I was also hearing a magic beam and then I was hearing magic stick. I got the magic stick. Okay. Um, then I was hearing an ultralight beam and then something here with beams in general. So like buildings, beams, headlight beams, new car, new car, very noisy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I don't know what song that is, um, but I'm hearing that rap song now. New car, very noisy. So someone here, congratulations on your new, very noisy car. Um, okay, but an ultralight beam, it's by Kanye. And he says um, in that song, I'm no longer afraid of the dark because I look to the light. Now, now I'm channeling, uh, are you afraid of the dark? The 90s TV show, also Goosebumps. I get those goosebumps every time. Okay, but no, actually the show Goosebumps. Um, neon lime green could be the color of the season. This is kind of like a seafoam green. Um, Mercari. I love secondhand websites. That's where I get all my clothes. All my clothes are secondhand. Anywho, um, neon lime green, lime green, 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 lime, lime green. Okay, lime green. Okay, Valerie, let's not switch that up. Uh, now I'm hearing you put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. So someone could be drinking. Is that maybe like pina coladas? If you like pina coladas. And getting caught in the rain someone here be cautious you could be going somewhere traveling somewhere and it's gonna rain somewhere like tropical the beach okay but in the song ultra light beam it's about kanye's relationship with god and in it he says i'm no longer afraid of the dark because i look to the light i'm no longer afraid of the night i look to the light um so someone here used to be maybe afraid of the dark, used to have night lights, things like that. I know I used to, but I don't anymore. A lot of that switched out for me when I did a two year long shamanic practitioner program. Although with my heritage being Hungarian, um, I actually am a Taltos, which is different than a shaman, but same, same, but different. Basically working in the dark with eye covers and things like that. So someone here needs to get to know the darkness within and needs to get to a place of I'm hearing you do too much going out, not enough going in. That's a big Sean song, <laughs> but basically someone here is always outside, outside, outside. And you guys, I used to have debilitating anxiety. I used to have panic attacks where I would literally pass out, where I would puke, where I would see spots. It would feel like a train starting from my fingertips and my toes. And I literally would like tremble, shake, all these different things. As soon as I tapped into my spiritual gifts, all of that disappeared. And my nervous system healed. Like everything was just like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of like how Doug was every time he saw Patty Mayo. Okay, so now we're talking Nickelodeon, but also Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark? I'm pretty sure it was also Nickelodeon. I don't know if Are You Afraid of the Dark was. Okay, so in the ultralight beam song, we on an ultralight beam, this is a God dream. I'm a, and then in it, he's like, I'm trying to keep my faith and end my holy war, but why are you sending me oppression, not blessings? Why are you doing me wrong? Well, you guys remember Jesus was hated, um, that quote. And they hated him first, so they will hate you too. They, however that, I think it's Matthew quote. Um, regardless, basically, remember he had to go in exile. He had to be resurrected, killed multiple times. And I noticed this way with many fellow readers. A lot of us who do this kind of energy work have died or come very close to dying multiple times, not just once, not just twice. For me, it's like eight or nine times. And every single time, my gifts, my clairs, clairsentience, claircognizance, clair, um, I smell things, I taste things, all of it is stronger each time. But it's only when I get closer and closer to that veil and when I cross that veil. And it's the same for a lot of people. Um, so a lot of people, it doesn't make sense. Well, it's probably because you've not died and come back to life, so you can't understand, but that's okay because your dharma is different than mine. Anywho, um, 
Now I'm getting to the next song, Guard Your Heart by Big Sean. In it, he's like, I'm broken to pieces. I hate to admit that I need you. So someone here is broken. They hate to admit that they need someone. Then he's like, hold your head, guard your heart. He's very conflicted. In the song, he says, objects in the mirror closer than they appear, which is a Mac Miller song. So again, I'm, something about that song by Mac Miller. But he says, you mistake me falling down is falling off. You mistake me being soft when I'm speaking from my heart. Life ain't taught you much as you thought. Instead of looking at your own pieces, you stay busy picking mine apart. So someone here is so busy picking all your pieces apart. Meanwhile, their life is collapsing and falling apart while you are healing and putting your life back together as an ultra light beam through a God thing. And you're living through faith, walking by faith, not by sight. Um, also, I was channeling the song uh, My Women and My Guitars by Cody Chestnut. So someone here could have like a guitar collection and have a bunch of women. And in that song, he says, I wish things didn't go wrong. Man, something is killing me. My women and my guitars. I've been living way too hard. My breakdown is on the way. I just know my breakdown is on the way. So someone here, they're like, it's inevitable. My life is, we're melting. Someone here feels like their life is melting. Um, okay. Also, uh, numbers that I was seeing, 777, 737, 333, seven, so sevens are all about spiritual awakenings, threes are all about the Holy Trinity, but it's also about working in groups, it's also threes company too, so it's also third party energy, it's um, not very committed. Uh, something here about the four R's, rescue, rest, reveal, and redeem. So everyone has to kind of go through their own initiation process where they rescue themselves. If you try and have others rescue you, then it's codependency, and then you go through that cycle. Then after you rescue yourself, you have to go through a period of deep rest. I think of this like I used to do powerlifting competitions and things like that, and then I'd take a break from lifting for a while while I was just kind of healing from all of my death experiences that I had a ton of since 2016. And I needed that time to really rest and reveal what God wanted to reveal about the purpose in my life. And I also, I had a photography business for like, I don't know, like two decades, essentially. I had to put that on hold for a while too. But this year I'm getting back into my photography alongside this. So now I'm revealing and redeeming everything that I've learned through um, rescuing myself and resting and going through that process. Everyone goes through that process at different phases. Uh, also something here, so I always talk about the Bermuda Triangle of health. You are only as strong. It's your physical health, your emotional health, and your spiritual health. And you're only as strong as the lowest of those three totems. So someone here can feel, um, well, basically one, <laughs> Someone here, their box is like a cardboard box. And when you put too much stuff in a cardboard box, what happens? The bottom falls out. So some people in the light working world, you know, they're emotionally empathic, they, they're spiritually inclined, but they're not lifting heavy weights. They're not getting physically strong. So then they have autoimmune issues, all these health issues, all these debilitating things that plague their physical body because their physical body is a flimsy cardboard box that is not strong enough to hold the weight of the emotions and the spiritual insight that they're receiving. Now it's the same with other people. They get really physically strong, maybe really emotionally strong, but they're not spiritually strong. And so they have a fallout with their body because there is that lack of reconciliation. Um, reconciliation needs to go into the R's as well. So rescue, reconcile with the self, rest, reveal, and then you redeem yourself. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for this one because it's already long. Um, someone here, mm, no limits. So you have no limits. The, the sky is the limit. Um, throw it up to the sky. Bless you.